H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. The next thing that we are going to see is the set interface. So I'll create a new package inside the source file of session 35 project. And the package will be called as set interface. I close this and inside the set interface package, I'm going to create a class called as the set class to represent it as what topic I'm taking called the main method. Now, what is a set interface? Let's go back to the basics of it. Set interface is also representing a group of individual objects as a single entity, but it's an int set interface. There's no duplications of data allowed and there's no indexing preserved. That means there's no indexing format in set interface and we cannot have duplications of data. Okay, so let's understand this with example. So I'll create a set, let's say S, and make it equal to uh, an object of the will create an ob uh, object of the hash set class. Hash set is the class which implements the set interface out there. And we have to import the set interface to the utility package and hash set also from the change to hash set in the utility package out here. Now, to add data to the set what do you need to do you have to use s dot add method there's an add method out here and we can add data let's say i will read data i will input data which is a string type so let's say peter so since set interface does not support indexing peter will not have indexing you will think that peter will have indexing of zero no set interface does not support indexing then i can add another data let's say water not add all add water will not have index number one because set interface does not support indexing and we cannot have a duplication of data also so let's say uh, i add S dot add I add Peter again not add all add if you see out here set interface does not support duplication of data and it does not have an indexing okay so there is no indexing for Peter Potter and Peter out here and if you see out here the data is duplicated as far as compiler is concerned the compiler will not show you any syntax error. But when you get the result, you will see what is the result shown in the console of Eclipse. That is where we will that, that, that is where we will be able to understand actually that set interface does not support duplication of data. As far as compiler is concerned, compiler will not show you not show you any kind of syntax errors because I have used the duplication of data out here. And duplication data is Peter out here. So this is how we add it. Now this see there's an orange underline. And this is a set of strings. So I just hover my mouse, add the argument. Hover my mouse here and add the argument. Okay. Now is it possible to get the size of the set? Size of the set. So let us see that. S dot. So there's a method called size through which I can get the size of the set. So if we run this right now, you see the size is shown as two, whereas how many data I've added? Three data. 
and one of the data is a duplication of another data peter is a duplication of this particular data and please remember set interface does not allow duplication of data so that is why when we use the size method the size method actually is showing you two but with our naked eye we see that we have added three datas but yes one data is a duplication of another data but if you look at the size method the size method of the set interface completely ignores the duplicated data and that is where the size is shown as two so in this particular scenario the compiler will not show any problem or any syntax error for the repeated data that is peter but the size method will tell you the result in the console the size method will tell you the result is two instead of three that means that the set interface completely ignores the duplicated data and that is why the size is shown as two okay now how do we get data to get uh, an individual data for example from the set individual data how do we get that so for this since the set interface does not support indexing so what we need to do is that we cannot use the for loop so the set method has the set interface sorry has a method called the iterator method okay the iterator method has a return type which is nothing but the return type is your iterator this iterator is a interface by itself so make it equal to the return type of iterator method of the set interface is the iterator of strings and i'll represent it by iter so this iterator method of the set interface has a return type of iterator you can see that it returns an iterator over the elements of the set so iterator is an interface by itself and it's an iterator of strings and represented by the reference variable iter so i will have to import the iterator from the utility package and this iterator interface has a method called as the next method so if i basically use sys out iter that is the reference variable of the iterator interface dot next this will give me one of the datas present in the set these are the datas in this set now the data that will be thrown out will be a random data since i have put up peter first it does not mean it will put out peter it is not mandatory that it will pick up the first data that has been added using the next method the next method of the iterator interface actually picks up randomly the datas okay it is not that it will pick up the data sequentially using the next method the next method will pick up the datas out here randomly so if i run this i'll give a, get an individual data so if i run this code number or line number 24 it will give me randomly pick up a data from the set interface and throw me out in the console so let's see that so, it's, uh, so you see potter is being thrown out and potter was added in the second instance so it's randomly picks up the data and throws out similarly i want to get one more data what i need to do i again used to i again have to use the next method so save this and run it so i'm now getting peter so it is randomly picking up the data if i again use the next method so how many data you have added only two because the third data is a duplicated data and set interface absolutely avoids the duplicated data and that is why the size method gives you the size of two in the console of eclipse so if i run this i will get an exception see so proceed further so there's a problem so i will have to remove this so let me run this you get an exception and what is the exception no such element exception why no such element because you've added only two datas and since you've added two datas you can use the next method only twice the third next method will not fetch any data because there are only two datas the third data is a duplicate data and it is absolutely avoided by the set interface okay so that is why if you use the next method again it is showing you an exception no such element okay but if i add s dot add let's say i add sam 
okay then i get a printout for this so let's run this i get sam this time i don't get an exception so let us just comment at this point of time this is getting individual data from the set interface if you want to get all the data from the set interface how do you get all uh, data from the set interface all the data rather so for this we already have used the iterator method and the return to iterator method of the set interface is the iterator of strings iterator is a interface by itself so what we can do is that we can use the while loop and what is the condition this is the condition iter has next method print out iter dot next this is what has to be used so what i will do is that i will have a ciso after this a differentiator then differentiator out here so what is happening out here so what is the condition out here so the condition is that the set interface will see that a particular block has data or not if the block has data print out the data then move to the next block and check out if it has data or not the next block also has data print out the data then move to the next block checks out the data is present or not if the data is present the condition becomes true print out the data then then move to the next block if the next block doesn't have data the condition become false the compiler will terminate the while loop this is how we get data at one go so if you save the class file and run it there is exception coming and this is why because of the exception this line is not getting printed out and the exception is coming because of this next method used where i only have two datas and i've used three next methods so i will have to comment this and save the class file and run it still i'm not getting the data so what i can do is that i'll have to use the iterator method again so got to copy this again and this should be iter1 so change it to iter1 and then you can save the class file and run it you are getting the results and this will be result will be thrown out in the random format because set interface does not show you the result in the sequential format in the order in which you have added the data it will pick up the data in random format and throw the result in random format and that is what we see that that's about your set interface next part is about the map interface so i'll create a package called as map interface and in this particular package called map interface i'll create a class file by the name of let's say hash table class just to represent the topic that i'm taking call out the main method now map interface is something like the funda goes like this if we want to represent a group of individual objects as a key value pairs then we should go for map interface so in this particular part keys and values are objects where keys cannot be duplicated where values can be duplicated so let us understand the map interface so what i'll do is that i create a reference variable of the map and pinpoint it toward the hash table hash table is a class implementing the map interface and uh, change to hash table the package imported this is how the import is done also implement and other import the map from the utility package and uh, the origin line is coming there it is trying to say what kind of map it is it is a map of strings or it is a map of integers 
it and map interface is also part of collection framework so obviously map interface will also support heterogeneous data apart from homogeneous data and for the set interface also the same funda domains so what is the method used to add data to the map to add data to the map we can use the method called as uh, m dot put method the put method is basically used to add data to a map the put method argument dot put yeah the key value pairs has to be given and the key value pair let's say can be in string format so it's basically a map of strings right now the key can be let's say um, first name is the key and the value can be let's say sam so both key value pairs in string format so this can be a map of strings so the key out here has to be unique you cannot have a duplicate key but the values can be duplicated so i can have one more m dot put and i have to give the key value pairs the key can be let's say the key has to be unique let's say the key is last name and the value of it let's say is mendes last name So this is a key value pair keys and values are objects keys cannot be duplicated values can be duplicated and now now this is a map of strings because the keys are defined in string format the values are also defined in string format so this is a map of strings so hover your mouse to remove the orange underline add arguments this is a string this string represents the key this string represents the value also hover your mouse out here add and the orange underline goes so right now for example if i use dot put method and the key is given i i duplicate the key so our duplication of the key should be let's say i duplicate this particular key and the value duplication is allowed so i'll duplicate the value also out here Now, as far as compiler is concerned, compiler will not show you any syntax error. But let us see to get the size of the map. So, what I need to do is I use the sysorg statement and m dot size. So, if you look at the size and you run the class file out here, the size remains two. Why? the duplicated key is absolutely ignored by the map interface and that is why the console shows you to it is only accepting these two out here so that is why it is absolutely ignoring this part that is why the size is shown as 2 but yes if i have a procedure in which i use m dot put method and i use let's say uh, a unique key called as uh, let's say pet name and the value can be duplicated so i duplicate the value of sam out here and i get the size now the size will be 3 so it will basically take this value so it is accepting this this and this it is not accepting this because you have used a duplicated key which is not allowed in map interface that is why it is absolutely ignoring this part it is accepting this part because it has a unique key and values can be duplicated that is why it is accepting that okay now how do you get the individual data what we need to do is that we have to use sys out m dot get method has to be used 
to get the individual and what we have to pass the key out here and the key will be let's say I want to pass first name so this will I'm passing out the key so when we pass out the key the value of the key will be thrown out now let's say it is throwing out the value of Sam or uh, or what let us see it's putting on the value of Sam okay now I'll do one more one more thing out here I will I will duplicate the the key called first name but here I will put it as Peter and right now if I run this key called first name should I get the value of Sam or should I get the value of Peter I'll get the value of Peter why now this is duplications of keys and duplication of keys are not allowed okay so if you by mistake duplicate the key and you change the value of it the latest value will be taken the earlier value of that key will be lost permanently and that is why you are getting Peter out here but if you look at the size part the size will be right now this is the first this is the second this is the third so that is why the size is 3 now this is duplication of key duplication of data is allowed values is allowed but duplication of key data is not allowed this will be completely ignored and what happens to this this gets lost that means that value data gets lost because the value has been changed from Sam to Peter out here and you have implemented the first name which is a duplication key so what happens out there this data gets lost so it is absolutely ignored this data is taken that is size number one this data is not taken or it will be ignored by the compiler because you have used the duplication of key and duplication of the value values duplication is allowed anyway for this this will be taken size number two and this will be taken as the third size because the duplication of key is there but the value of the key has changed so latest value of the key will be taken for a duplicated key scenario that is why if I print out the key called first name my expectation should be Sam by why it is showing you Peter because the value has changed so it will take the correct value of the key that is duplicated and that is why it is showing you Peter okay similarly I want to get the result for the key called pet name So what will the result of this? This will be Sam. Pet name. Oh, N is capital and this is here small. So if you give a incorrect pet name, so you have to be very careful about the uppercase and lowercase, the result will be null. Check out. So I will change it to N and run the class file again. So I get Sam. So this is how uh, map works so we can create a object of the hash table and refresh it with the hash table also that is also possible so this is where I've created a map of string and string I create a map of uh, heterogeneous data also that is also possible you can have a try out try out of that so that's about your uh, map interface and if you have any questions please revert to us that was of set and then followed by map and those examples were given thanks very much appreciated your time